The Department of Pathology is the only clinical department that has a PhD program. When our students join the program, they have the ability to doing research in the basic sciences as well as research in the translational sciences. Typically, students who undertake research in the translational sciences get the opportunity to come up with novel treatments for various diseases as well as develop vaccines to counter these diseases. I like the idea of joining a program that was smaller in size because I'm able to actually interact with my cohort and get to know them on a deeper level than just the research or the science side. Everybody's always willing to give you their opinion and help you work through problems. So whether it's faculty that study immunology or cancer research or Parkinson's disease, everyone is willing to pitch in and give you their resources, their time, and their help. One of the best parts, at least for me, of the graduate program is the collegial interactions we have between the students among themselves as well as with the faculty. What I like about a lot of the faculty is that you can run into them on campus or in your lab and talk to them kind of like you would anybody else. In the aspect of the classroom, I enjoy being able to build a relationship with my teacher because it's more one-on-one -on -one lessons and a smaller classroom size. Even though our program is relatively small, we do have students from different backgrounds or even different countries. So like myself is an international student and we do have several international students in the community, which makes me feel like it's diverse and also it's inclusive. As an HBCU graduate, it was really important for me to feel supported and encouraged within my PhD career and finding a program that took those values into consideration was really important to me. Here at Duke, after I applied, they were really helpful with incorporating me into the diversity and inclusion um, initiatives that they have here, including BioCore, which was instrumental in my first year and I really enjoyed that experience and have made lifelong friends. Just two bays over from where I do my research is one of my really good friends in the program. Um, and so we walk past each other every day and wave and say good morning and say, oh my gosh, I have to tell you something or let me ask your opinion on this experiment. And we, you know, we talk about science, but we also talk about our lives and catch up on everything. The pathology program is quite a close-knit community, which I really like. So I really treasure the friendship that I have um, and from the friends in the pathology. This year the pathology department went to the Durham Bulls game together and reserved a whole area and it was really fun to see everyone out. I got to chat with the chair of the department who is also on my committee over beers and peanuts rather than like a lab bench and so that was really fun. Our program is here to support us in many ways not only in our personal development but also in our mental be well-being. So especially during COVID, Meg and Dr. Soma Abraham has tried to like really include us in a lot of social events or really checking with us frequently. This helped us to go through this difficult time. I feel like my Duke community has become really interconnected over the last couple of years and I like that a lot. I've participated in a lot of teaching opportunities, a lot of research opportunities, and a lot of just like peer-to-peer -peer networking and now um, that I'm in my fourth year everything's coming together and so there's people I know from teaching that I also am meeting in research contexts and a lot of it's overlapping and I think that's really cool. I would say coming to Duke Pathology would definitely be beneficial for your future career. I love living in Durham and have lived here now for about seven years. Um, I moved downtown Durham um, right when I started at Duke, but before that I lived in the South Durham area, which is also really fun. I have a lot of community here, actually deep-rooted. I bought a house about three years ago because I loved it so much and I knew I was going to stay here and do my PhD here and maybe put down more roots than that. Another thing I love about Durham is that there's a strong like grassroots organizing component and community here and that allows you to become part of it and feel even more invested in the Durham community overall. One of the best ways of assessing the success of a graduate program is looking at the products of that graduate program and in that regard, we've been extremely successful as we've got many of our graduates ending up in the government, ending up in industry, as well as in academia.